one second. <laughs> you know, I, you know, I kind I count down to uh, when I press the button. Okay, now now we're live everywhere. Cool. We're live, live. We're live, live, dude. What up? It's your boy Peter Yang with Make It Rain Podcast. I'm your host. This is also your host. Frankie Bell, Frankie Mary yeah. Yang, what's going on, guys? Yeah. Welcome yeah. to the podcast. Today we have a lot to uh, discuss about, a lot of great videos to react on and uh, talk about anything and everything. I, I second that. Riz. I second that. Yes. Uh, one of the, mo um, the most important topic, Riz. Yeah. Did you uh, you want to start your segment this time? Woo! No, dude, don't, don't fuck up the flow, man. Unless, unless you want me to go first. It's up to you. Nah. Uh, let's keep it how we've been doing it. All right. That's fine. You can do it. Sorry, man. All right, man. Uh, let's go for one, it. One second. You can go straight. I'm, uh, I'm OCD. Uh, everything has got to be perfect. Even though that section right there is not perfect, it's that's about as much as I'm going to compromise. So, how's how's your week been, Peter? Oh, it's been good, dude. Dude, it's long, dude, because um, I started working again. So then the work week, or the work weekend, I should say, you know, twelve hours, twelve hours, twelve hours. It's been, uh, yeah. you know, it's 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 been rough on my feet, but uh, I bought tape, so I can tape my feet. Uh, I got some insoles, and then I got some new shoes. They they've been helping uh, a lot more. Um, I've been stretching doing more stretches and and really focusing on healing I, I think that's something that i've been lacking on and now i'm doing it and because i want to you know i, I want to be able to run and play with my kids still you know i'm only fucking 30, have you uh, so. got a massage yet from my from my wife you know um like a full-on like feet massage not recently but you know sometimes Yeah, man, your feet, uh, they're really important to take care of, man. It's yeah. um, pretty vital to take care of your, your legs. Yeah. Without your legs, man, you're going to, we, we can't work. Yeah. Can't Wait. move. Oh, yeah, man. I respect you, uh, everyone that's, you know, that's in the wheelchair. No lives. Respect, respect. Yeah. Hey, I got um, a, I got a, I got a question for you, man. Uh, do I laugh a lot? Do you laugh a lot? I don't know. You gotta be funny, right? Well, and... cause I when I edit these videos, man, I I laugh a lot, <laughs> you know. And I was I'm just like, you know, I've always kind of done it, you know. And then and then when I and then just recently, I was like, you know what? I kind of laugh a lot, yeah. So, cause I, I'm I'm cutting a lot of footage out, <laughs> and most of it is me laughing, and I'm just like, hmm, I don't know. Um, there's nothing wrong with laughing. Laughing is good, positive, I guess. Thank you. Do you laugh a lot? I don't know, man. I guess you do. I guess you don't. I well, don't know. I don't I, notice it. I only, I only laugh with, you know, the real homies. You know what I'm saying? I don't laugh with everybody, you know, but the people that I do laugh with, I laugh. I'm not, I'm not that funny, man. <laughs> I don't know how you're laughing, man. Well, I'm, I'm laughing I'm because... I'm glad I'm able to laugh. It's with it's you. it's the conversation. I just enjoy being with people who I enjoy being with, and because of that, I laugh. You know, so. that's fair. Okay. Um, what's something you did uh, this past week that you learned? Hmm. Anything new? You learned? So I'm I'm doing drop shipping. Uh, the learning curve is a bitch. Um, mm -hmm. but it's it's been good. I'm I'm kind of where right now the phase I'm at is um. I'm putting out ads now, so so I'm gonna retract those ads and work on the uh, the actual content, so that way I can get a better conversion rate. Because dude, like freaking, um, spend twenty bucks to reach two thousand people, and only nine people click on the link. So I'm gonna I'm gonna switch up the uh, and and you know it's it's something that I just kind of cut and paste put together and threw out there you know hoping that i was gonna can get you, a score can you show us the uh the video 
Right. Let me. Uh, I just, I, I just want to see and see if I could uh, maybe put some insights in. Um, I'll let you know. It's trash. <laughs> okay, let me see. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> uh. Yeah, man. Drop shipping is something that um, um, Jordan was trying to do for the longest time. Oh yeah. But I think he stopped doing that. Uh, but um. I think if he would have continued and stayed consistent with it, I think it would have turned to something good. He had a couple of sales, but it wasn't um, enough. I think it's definitely the product too. You got to have a really good product yeah. for uh, drop shipping to work. Dude, I think I think it's, it's not just product, but I think it's the branding. You know what I'm saying? I think people really care about branding. You know, they get, they go to the website and they just kind of like, I don't know who the fuck these people are, you know, kind of sketchy. Unless it's like a because like the products that I'm selling, people are already pushing, but how they push it is um, they they actually have a brand, you know, and then they mark up the price so fucking much, dude. And I'm just like, oh snap, you know. So. Yeah, branding definitely helps for sure. Branding, if like example like Microsoft, right? If you had like a Microsoft product that you're selling, um, and they, they already kind of been advertising and marketing themselves, so it's a lot easier for sure and more trustworthy. Versus um, like an off-brand. I mean, off-brand, it has to be a specific item for you, me to able to buy off-brand, like like a pencil, uh, something that's like, I guess, not that um, important, like a, like a phone stand or like a iPhone case, things like that, I wouldn't mind buying off-brand. Yeah. But if it's like technology or something that's important, that's going to, you know, involve... Like technology wise, yeah, definitely branding for sure. Cool. Uh, I, I think Even I deleted. Like uh, I think I deleted the video. You deleted the video. Yeah, that's how. That's how ashamed I was of that video. Damn, <laughs> that's how bad it was. Honestly, it was really bad. It was. Uh, I'll tell you. I'll describe it. It was a cut of two videos. <laughs> the beginning of one, the middle of it, and then the ending of that first one. That was it. And it had text on it with the the trending uh, song, and then I was like, "All right, I'm gonna bullshit this. Whoop, throw it out there, see what happens." Uh, yeah. Well, um, we learn and we go, move forward. Yeah. On to the next video, right? Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's go ahead. Let's hop right into it then. Let's go right into the uh, the reaction videos. Vote for Yang. Is he, uh, do you know if he's going to be running again? I think he's going to try to, but I don't think he's going to win, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. He's too early. He was trying to too run early. in, uh, he was trying to run as governor for New York. I thought that was cool. But is he not? Like, some kind of, like, I think senator over there? Oh. Sheen is being canceled right now. He, he lost the, uh, the previous one. I don't know if he's going to run again. I, I haven't kept up with politics in so long. Uh, same. All right. Here we go. Oh, did you check the uh, the live the live stream? No, no. I haven't checked. I haven't okay. checked the, Can you check I'll, that I'll first? Right now. Yeah, yeah, that'd be uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. You know, we want to we want to make sure we have. Uh, you know, no technical difficulties. Dude, this is going to be episode, another episode of no technical difficulties, man. Hopefully not. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, we're good. You straight? All right, here we go. Let's do this. Sheen is being cancelled right now. Fast fashion has always been the subject of scrutiny due to its wasteful nature and contribution to global warming. However, people who have been ordering from Sheen have noticed something much more sinister going on. After taking a closer look at the clothing tags, messages saying I need your help and I have dental pain are stitched into the clothes. Sometimes the messages are as blatant as being written on the shipping label. The only way fast fashion companies can keep their prices so cheap is by allegedly using child labor in third world countries. They are paid literally pennies a day if that, with their average monthly salaries being a 
$1.25. As a result of this poor treatment and underpayment, children are suffering worldwide just so we can get cheap shirts. So if you didn't hear... Wow. So, let me ask you this. So knowing this, right? Knowing this, do you... Would you buy uh, fast fashion? Yes. 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 You, you, you would still? Yes. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not proud of that answer. <laughs> let me, let me say that firstly. I'm not proud of that, but you know, shit, I'm broke dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> From one broke person to another, you know? Uh, you know, I, I saw something too like that. It was, um, you know, our conversation earlier about the dirty food and stuff like that. You know, China has a bunch of these, yeah, yeah. you know, um, regulations they don't they don't enforce you know and then um what is it um you know stuff like this too right where the labor can be because right my my my, my idea was um or, or my thought was always you know we're providing these people a job right can't they like without the consumer you know they they can't make a living but the truth of the matter is that the those governments you know or, or you know those businesses or governments or whatever they don't regulate those things and then they look past those things and then um, they could be paying them more, but they're, they're not, you know. So 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 where we spend our dollars matter matter too, you know, uh, it's just because it's, you know, the business, the actual business is so far away and then we don't hear about these things. And then, so we don't make that conscious uh, purchase to take our money elsewhere, you know, so that I mean, that will that will change, you know, how they practice their businesses. If, if uh, the consumers knew that the uh, wages of the workers there are making more money, then they would, you know, help them out. But, but shit, you know, that would raise our the cost of the products too. And so it's it's. When well, was the last time you bought fast fashion stuff? Dude, I haven't like bought clothes for myself lunch, in so goddamn long, dude. <laughs> so you're not, all my you're not, all my clothes. Yeah, yeah, all my clothes. Is uh either my wife buys it or my mom buys it. That's it. Okay. Like this shit right here, dude. I didn't buy this. I think the only thing I bought for myself uh was like two years ago. It was like pants from H and M. H and M be uh be revolutionary, man. H and M be trying to be as ethical as possible, man. So. Yeah, H and M is pretty cool. I like I like H and M. I haven't bought anything in in a while too. When was the last time you bought new underwear? Uh, I didn't buy it. My wife buy it, bought it for me because I, I told her I need it. Mm. Um, but it was it was this year. I don't know. This year? Yeah. Yeah, I need no underwear. I haven't bought no underwear in maybe two, three years from now. Hey, man, years, if, yeah. they, if they work, they work, man. <laughs> you know, the, um, the function of the I'm underwear cool. is just to hold your balls and your dick to you, to you, you know what I'm saying? That's it. You know, something disgusting. I've been like, when I have those days and I fart a lot, bro, and like, whenever I'm in the car, <laughs> like, I'll just kind of like turn my body a little bit yeah. and just fart, man. Like, over time, doing that for three years on on underwears, it starts to, you know, tear up on you. Yeah. I think I it's still time. Room. I think I it's time room. to at least, I think it's time to at least steal a pack. You know what I'm saying? Just steal it. There, yeah, there's no, yeah. there's no, there's no security tag on it. Just steal it. Nobody's gonna say anything. Yeah, I might, I'll have to go underwear shopping soon too. Um, but yeah, I think, I think, I mean, Air Forces too. Air Forces, they have uh, cheap labor in China, uh, Nike, uh, but people still buy them, man. People still buy them. It's still a thing. Yeah. I don't. That's why I don't. I don't really uh, wear. That's, that's not the reason why I don't wear. But I mean, I have a pair of Air Force myself. Um, but I try not to support uh, that child labor ideal or that. Yeah, fast fashion. Okay. But it is what it is, dude. If I need the clothes, then fuck, man. I'm supporting a child. <laughs> Thank you. Have you ever way. seen? Be positive. Are you supporting their 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 income? You know. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's that's true. <laughs> okay, so um, second video. video. All right, here we go. I'm doing the. Yeah, I'll just bring it up.
Have you ever seen that video where it shows the local news people all saying like the exact same thing? Yeah, that's it. It's to serve our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS 4 News <laughs> produces. But we are concerned about trouble and trouble and one news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, <laughs> some media outlets publish these same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media this is fucking scary. Yeah, this is the scariest. Well, that's propaganda. Welcome to the world, guys. Welcome to the world. What do you think? You can't. You can't believe everything you see. Um, that's just what it is, man. You know, you gotta, you gotta break from the matrix that's what it is dude andrew tate dude all the way everything's everything's a marketing ploy that's it that's scary man um yeah. every, it's just a script especially these news channels you know knowing that we believe them since you know from a young age and just kind of the news unveiling itself that it's, it is fake kind of like what donald trump that's why Donald Trump, you know, has so much supporters too, man. Like the fake news. Oh yeah, man. That's that's fake news. Well, not not only that, um, but like um, you know, these ads are targeted to people, to people's biases. You know, they're, mm -mm, they're you know, mm -mm. and then and then some of these ads are either from news outlets or they're from you know these big corporations who want to twist the narrative, um, political parties and and stuff like that. So it's it's tough. To, to weed you know so so go go to you know have an open mind you know understand um you know why you believe in what you believe in and you know question yourself you know what i'm saying yeah and not jump to conclusions man because um you know just because you hear it from one outlet doesn't mean it's true you know oh don't no, let me tell you this one time dude <laughs> so i was at a uh, friend's house right and then uh, I think the topic of politics, this was when, you know, Trump and Biden was, you know, at it, right? And then, uh, yeah. And then I forgot how the fucking conversation came up or even the topic came up. But then, like, Trump came up and I was like, man, fuck that guy, dude. And they're like, oh, yeah, why? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, man, you know. Besides, you know, being a dickhead and, and, you know, saying all these, you know, fucking racist shit, you know, it's just kind of like, what else, you know? So, I don't know. Because cause now, right, we see we see Joe Biden run, running shit and, well, he's not really running shit. <laughs> so then it's, yeah. it's kind of like, hmm, politics are interesting, you know? Um, I think, yeah. I, think, I think Jordan Peter said, uh, made a comment about it. You know, he, he was saying that, like, you know, all this, you know, political stuff going on. He said, you know, I, I think ultimately we should focus on, I mean, th these aren't his words verbatim, but just, you know, the message was um, focus on you, you know, focus on what you can't control. Focus on your house, you know, is your house in order, right? Before we try to solve the problem of the United States, you know, or, or of the world, right? Let's, let's focus on our house, you know, because from there, maybe that can, you know, start um uh, a shift in the in the culture right so so I, I i go by that that's true no that's true man i feel like um you know that's why i'm not i don't like politics as much just it's none of my business man i mean i i take peek into it but it's nothing serious um but like i do follow um like certain influencers like uh, andrew tate example man um love the guy you know uh there was uh the same scenario like like you i'm like i'm like yeah andrew tate man andrew tate and they'd be like yeah i don't like andrew tate I'm like, why <laughs> why don't you like him <laughs> oh yeah, yeah he, he he's, he's misogynist, misogynist. He, he yeah hates, yeah yeah he hates women i was like what in what way do you think he hates women 
uh, he just does. Like, that one video. I'm like, wow. Like, it's crazy how, like, they can twist a video so quickly and think that Andrew Tate's such a shitty person, you know? And, um, yeah, getting challenged, man. Getting challenged on, on these uh, ideology, um, especially people who are kind of, like, blinked around uh, hate. Hating for no reason. Kind of um, sheep, you know? I try. I try not to be a sheep, bro. Like, once I catch, I'm like, "Fuck! Why do I think this way? You know, is that wrong? Is that right? Like, I got, I gotta go back and recheck myself, you know. Yeah. Um, and uh, there's a lot of people that aren't, aren't willing to do that, man. Have you seen? Uh, have you seen the interview that with uh, I think BBC? Andrew Tate. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The 40 minute one yeah. or the or the BBC version. I I kind of just turned it on and um, I didn't watch the whole thing. Okay. But it's sort of I just turned it on and I was I think I was cooking or something. Okay. Um. So I probably missed a lot of like good information. But um, he made another video that was just recent, talking about how the BBC came back and tried to attack him, and before that they sent him a bunch of questionnaires. That was like complete opposite of what they asked him at the actual interview, oh, okay. um, which is which is uh, kind of interesting. Yeah, trying to throw them off. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, right. Matrix man, Andrew Tate, dude, he's the real one. Gave you my heart. I... You want to go on to the next video? Yep, pulling it up. All right, moving on to the next video, man. Uh, you guys are gonna like this this next one. I gave you my heart. I gave you everything. I gave you all of you. You didn't give me pussy. You didn't give me pussy. Okay. I am a man. I need it. I... <laughs> Ready again? I gave you my heart. I gave you everything. I gave you all of you. You didn't give me pussy. You didn't give me pussy. Okay. I am a man. I need it. I... <laughs> he said it with passion, dog. Pussy. <laughs> That's sad, dog. Uh, he's like, he's like, I don't need your heart. I need your pussy. <laughs> oh shit, dog. That's funny, dog. <laughs> you didn't get me a pussy. Oh man, yeah, man, guys are so simple, man. Oh my god, you know, guys are so simple, man. If I offer, That's hilarious. I think, um. When guy wants like sex, I think, because our hormones are different from from women, right? So, yeah. it's betrayed more, uh, more wrongly, because we want sex, you know. And um, in reality, yeah, we're pretty simple, man. Just leave us alone and um, give us some, give us some pussy every once in a Boosie. while, man. Boosie. Yeah, dude. We, At least we, once a week. We said uh, we said it. We said it in our last episode um, that guys are real simple. You know, they just want, you know, they they want they want to be the provider in exchange for a little respect. Okay. I mean, at least at least half of the respect, bro. Like respect. I think that's that's our um, that's our love language. You know, like men, we we thrive through respect you know so especially if a woman respects you it just says even like appreciates you like in a way yeah um here's the next one let's, let's go to the next one yeah if i offered you 10 million dollars would you take it yes and what would you say thank you i would but the only catch is you don't get to wake up tomorrow would you still take it no exactly so that means waking up tomorrow is worth more than $10 million. So wake up with a smile on your face every day and say that you're worth a million bucks. That is some high quality advice. That was amazing. That was really good. Thank you so much. Sorry, my, uh, my camera overheated. Oh, damn. Okay. First time it ever overheated. That's, um, fuck. That's, yeah, Sony, this, that's because this podcast is fire, cuz. <laughs> Did you like that? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna express myself. Uh, you know, firstly, that dude was hella on that mic, dude. <laughs> that 
that the guy in the white in the yellow shirt yeah, yeah, yeah. was like holding that thing with the death grip, you know, because it looks like they're kind of like in a party area. So he's like, he had a, like a hella death grip on it. But but that device is solid device, man. Uh, that that uh, I I heard that message before from another video. I think and you know it's it's solid from no matter who says it. But um, you know I think oftentimes. We confuse uh, um, being happy with with monetary gain. I think with stuff too, right? You know, the more stuff we have, the more happier we are. Uh, but I think going back to our basics, right, is being happy with what you have. You know, um, that's uh, that's it. That's all I got. That's all I got to express. That's true, man. It's like another saying of um, living your best life. I mean, living every day as if it's your last, right? Yeah. And not and not focus on the money because I feel people, you know, including myself, you know, uh, stress too much about money and like and you know I think it will come. You know, that's why he. I feel like when he mentioned that ten million dollars, of course anybody would want that, and I feel like a lot of people strive for that. And it's not that you-, you. It's not that it's bad, but it's just the fact that you do gotta wake up like your ten million dollars. You know. And time is the precious thing that we have. And I know we abuse it sometimes and appreciating time and your loved ones is going to be, it's the most important, better than money, more than money. Yeah. But yeah, I love that message. Oh, we're going back to the uh, regular HD. Going with the uh, 36 pixel. (laughs) The classic. We're going vintage this time. Wow, man, it's totally different, dude. You're all fuzzy. Good times. Yeah, right? Good times. Remind, like it reminds me of the first time we did this. Good times, good times. Okay, cool, man. Yeah. Uh, great videos. Thanks for sharing. Those are all four videos that you uh, wanted to uh, go over. Uh, you want to check chat? If we have anybody in chat. I see here. There's nobody. Uh, we just have people watching. Okay. Yeah. Not nothing yet. Hey man, yeah, if, y'all, are, if you guys are watching too, right? May, uh, ask questions. You know, say some bullshit. Tell a joke. Talk about your day, right? We want to see uh, some engagement. You know, we want we want to know what you're thinking about. You know, let us know how you felt about the videos, uh, about our comments, um, about current events. Let us know. All right, dude. With that being said, man, we're gonna go into my segment, dude. Let's go for it. I think you'll like this, dude. What should people do? They should be very, very focused on trying to do the following. Lean in dramatically more to things that are positive. Step back, audit your entire life from the people you spend time with, your family, your friends, look at every person you follow. Are they triggering your insecurities for their own self-interest? Or are they trying to put love into it so that you go on and do your thing? Watch, look for it. Nah. Um, it's true, man. Um, you notice it right away um, on certain people, man. And uh, it's, you know, it's catching it on early. You know, that's that's what it is, because um, once you catch it faster and easier, your life is easier. You filter them out pretty quick. Uh, that's completely true. I have many people that I keep a distance because they, they want to see me fail, man. Haters, dude. Haters, man. They love seeing, try to, like, bug you to fail and bring up some stupid shit that doesn't even matter. To just try to drag you down for no reason. You got names, dude? You got names? <laughs> nah, I, I'm not going to say names. <laughs> I'm not going to play names. Because I, I, I'm not I'm not that kind of guy. But. Uh, um, you're not petty? Damn. <laughs> I can't. I'm, I'm not going to throw no names out there. But, uh, there, yeah, you know, watch out. Watch out for your, in your circle, for sure. That's, uh, that's really important. Cool, man. That's solid, man. You know, we, we, we said this message, you know, multiple times in the past, actually. You know, monitor your surrounding because 
you know, if you hang around with four broke motherfuckers, you're going to be the fifth, right? So it's, it's about, you know, auditing, you know, Gary V says, you know, auditing, you know, what you listen to, right? What you tune into also audit, you know, your friends and your family, right? What are they feeding you into your life? You know, what, what, what kind of energy are they giving you? Right. Um, and dude, just pluck them out if they don't serve, you know, your purpose into, you know, your life, you know, I mean, if you don't know what that is, right. You know, at least surround yourself with a, a, a positive environment or a positive influence, you know, and if you don't have that, you know, podcast is the greatest way to get that um, podcast, this podcast, right. Uh, to tune in into, right. Uh, a positive um, mindset. So that way that'll create, you know, opportunities for you. That'll open doors, right. To, to at least open your eyes to these opportunities, you know? And, and so, I really like that uh, message, man, that uh, Gary Vee had. I mean, that's that's always, you know, his message, you know, is to fail forward and to always, you know, be around positivity and stuff like that. Um, so that's why that's why I chose that mess uh, that video, man, just because yeah, it's a great message. That's yeah, that's um, Gary Vee always has some good stuff, man. Um, I think this is kind of like everything. I feel like we we know, right? I feel like something that we've we heard before. I don't think it's like um it's it's a good reminder for us to to be quicker with it you know and, and to push to be better because this whole podcast you know i'm pretty sure we've talked about the same topic multiple times but it's good reminder for for both of us or even everyone that's watching to you know progressively grow and remind each other to be positive and, and push through um yeah, so that's that's a good message from Gary V. Love it. Cool. Love Gary V. All right, next one. Why is it controlling? Oh. <laughs> All right, dude. All right. Why is it controlling? How about a guy just has some standards for himself and he's saying to himself, if I'm going to date you and we're going to be exclusive and I'm going to prioritize you in multiple ways, I have expectations of you, which means that you're not going to go out, get sloppy drunk with your friends, be around a bunch of guys that are going to be like eh, the whole time and maybe behave badly because people make not so great decisions when they drink. And why are you putting yourself in that situation? I don't want to give my exclusivity to someone who's going to voluntarily put themselves in those situations. And by the way, if you have me and you're so happy with me, why do you need to do all of that? Perfectly reasonable for a man to come to the table and say those things. Guys are afraid to say them oftentimes because they're afraid of losing a woman. Don't be afraid, men, to lose a woman who behaves badly. It will be an enormous favor to you if you lose someone that disrespects you consistently. Don't be afraid of the loss. Man, dude, that was so good, dude. Well how you, said. How do you, how do you feel about that, dude? Um, I think it's uh, uh, I, I love it. I love it. I think it's a biggest problem uh in day and age right now because um, if if we guys when we want something done, it's considered as controlling. But if a woman wants something, it's considered as um okay it's okay to to have you know, example like um if we have standards of a girl not going out to if i don't want her to go out to the bars if i don't want to go to a club that's controlling right if i want her to ch change her outfit and it's too exposing that's controlling right but when when a girl wants a uh wants a guy that has money and a guy that a guy that's six feet tall that's not degrading that's not a bad thing you know so everyone has their own preferences and their own standard, right? And um, yeah, a, a male, male, man, we 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 get it hard. We um, it's not controlling. Yeah. Hey man, no it's, it's hard to find a good woman too. No that more, will, no will, more will being pay. a simp. No more simp. She's talking about men being simps, man. You know, yeah. It's it's time to hold ourselves to a higher standard and to hold everybody around us to higher standards, man. That's what that is, man. That's what I feel, dude. That's true. Yeah. 
it's uh, not being a simp, but it's it's so hard. Uh, guys nowadays, it's, it's so hard to not be a simp too, you know, because um, that's <laughs> give me hard. your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I just want your pussy. <laughs> it's, it's hard, bro. It's hard to get cushy, man. It's a hard game. Oh shit, dog. <laughs> Uh, such a great video, but <laughs> but yeah, man, I I really like what she said, man. Um, because that's 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 really what it is, you know. Why is it when uh, men have standards, right? And, and and it seems like they're demanding, but they're just expressing their standards. Why does that seem controlling, or, or why does that seem toxic, you know? But when the roles are reversed, you know, it's it's cool for a woman to be more masculine than a guy, you know. So. Man, it's, there's an agenda going on, you know. Is it a- yeah, so you know, I was for my next girl, you know, yeah, uh, you know, I definitely want her to be a bit more, you know, able to compromise as well and um, have respect because um, that's why I lost my previous one is just from letting her loose too much, you know, not having my own standard, letting my own walls down so she can cross it, you know, and like not reaffirming my boundaries you know yeah. and um yeah it backs that bro so you know hold up to your standards and um control them <laughs> go overseas man overseas dude i keep uh, telling you dude overseas get your passport and go overseas dude my uh my, 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 home, here, my, dude. my roommate just went overseas too so i'm hoping he, hopefully he goes he comes yeah. back with the with the Filipino girl, get him, you know, let him, let him get, build that connections for the for the homies, you know what I'm saying? Shoot, he can start a business. I'm just going, I'm just going smash, bro. I ain't, I ain't gonna pick up a Filipino oh, girl. Man, I think bro. overall, I think someone that is uh, somewhat in- intelligent uh, will Filipinos be more are, ideal. Fil- and like with Filipinos are intelligent. American, and American like culture, oh, you know what I mean? Like has some kind of. Um, cause I think if it's like overseas, I think it's too fobby for me. You know what I mean? Like, you don't know, you don't know, do you don't know man. until you try, man. You know, don't knock it till you try it is what they say, man. It's all right. I went it's my, my, right. my previous <laughs> one, but my, my previous one, she was, she was overseas. Oh, okay. Um, she had, a a different culture. Uh, I'm not saying that she was fobby, but she had, um, I could, but yes, she was a little bit, you know, she had like a Burmese, everything Burmese, the accent to the, the clothing style. I'm talking about like the styles that you, she loves those guys that has like, um, like those tight day styles, bro. Like, I don't, you know how, okay. so tight day, yeah, the pretty, pants, pants and tight and stuff like that. Yeah. No, it's like, it's like the pretty preppy tight day, um, dressing, you know, like the collar, like the collar shirt with the big logo. Uniforms. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Oh school, man, I can't. I, I gotta show you some pictures. I don't know. Yeah, it was just, it was um different culture, different styles, different tastes. Okay. So, I already kind of sort of tried it. I didn't really like it. So, um, wanna try something new this time. All right. Cool man. Go on to the next video. I want to see if my camera works now. Did you want to go on a uh, Umigo after this? Is it is it fixed already? I, I haven't done it. I haven't set it up yet. Oh, okay. If it's fixed, then yeah, we can do it for sure. Yeah, I'm sure we can figure. Oh no, I think uh, I remember. I remember. Uh... Is it kind of risky too? Because anybody Omigo could be. He, he they could like do anything, right? They could like flash. They could, you know. Probably say nasty words like can get us banned pretty quick. Dude, I was like, well, there's a lot of N word last time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, man, there's so many rednecks there, just so proud of saying the N word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dog, it's so funny. Dude. <laughs> oh, this thing's not allowing me to screen uh, screen share. What's going on? You want to talk about something while I try to figure this out? Oh, yeah, man. Fuck. Um, oh, check uh, check chat. See if uh, anybody said anything in chat. 
Uh, nothing yet. But I've been taking uh, CMOS. Shout out to Homie Lee. And uh, oh, bro, my testosterone has definitely gone up for sure. Does that mean? Uh, does that mean you're trying to fit more, or what, or what does that mean? That I'm trying to what? Um, ejaculate. Bath? I'm trying to um, save up my ejaculation for uh, my next hookup. Oh, tight. Wait, what? Oh, why do you need to save up? Why, why would you need to save that up? I'm trying to have yeah, a baby. I'm, I'm staying away from Trying I'm to have staying, a baby. I'm staying All away, right. I'm, that's I'm staying the... away from porn. <laughs> staying oh, away from porn. That's, what you, that's what you're talking about. Detoxing okay. from corn. Ah, that's what it is. Okay, okay, okay. Um, oh, it's, dude, been, uh, it's been a good journey. I've uh, been kind of hard, but it's been, it's been better than, uh, than last month. For sure. Hey, I'm going to disconnect real quick and come back. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, you know, we almost made it to the end without uh, any technical difficulties. Almost. Almost. No, it's not letting me go. <sighs> I don't want to have to close out the whole thing because I don't, I don't know if uh, that's going to mess up my... What are you doing July 4th? Going to Minnesota. Oh, sweet. Is that... Uh, oh, yeah. For uh, July 4th weekend? No, for uh, Cousin's... Uh, uh, you, uh, you know I ain't about that life, man. Come on, man. No, it's, it's for uh, my Cousin's uh, graduation party. She just graduated uh, college. I believe it's co college. I think it's college. Uh, so we're gonna celebrate that, and me and Paku are gonna go find some Korean barbecue to eat. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Oh, have you ate at the uh, the Lotus yet? No, I don't. I don't what what is that? Um, it's um a dude, a pretty well known um, I guess businessman. Um, he he throws uh parties he has his restaurant called the lotus and it's really good supposedly okay cool. oh there's that mong guys restaurant you should try dude that was on uh the chef oh yeah that guy yeah he's he's pretty exclusive yeah. man you you have to uh, oh well i don't i haven't kept up on him but i remember uh, a few years back he had a uh, food truck and it was just yeah first come first serve and he, if he sells out then he's done for the day so I don't Wait, know. he has a restaurant now, right? I don't know. He has a restaurant that has like a like a faux bone bone marrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, that uh, that doesn't excite me. Uh, <laughs> you but you don't like faux? It's one of those things where oh. you had it for many 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 years. It's all this. Faux is faux. It's good. Oh no, man. I'm saying I'm I'm saying faux is good. But I'm not gonna go travel for fun, you know what I'm saying? That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, if I was in the the area, I'll definitely. You, I'll, I'll you, try you, it out. There's nothing. There's nothing groundbreaking that you can do with fun. You know, it, a good a good hearty broth, and you know, you got your condiments. You got uh, a a good noodle. Um, that's it. That's all you need. That's that's the the beauty of pho is it's it's supposed to be simple. Oh man, I I love tasting like different uh, pho broth, man. It's um yeah, I, I agree. But I'm not gonna yeah, I, I, I wouldn't go out of my way though. But I think if yeah. there's it was like a city I'm visiting that has good pho, yeah, I'll probably definitely try it out for sure. I'm good. It doesn't excite me. It doesn't give me a hard on like that. You know, there's a uh, they have a Vegas lobster for for a hundred bucks a bowl. I'm just like, get this gimmick out of here, dog. A lobster for a hundred dollars? Oh, you you destroy the foe and you destroy the lobster, and you charge people so goddamn much. 
Man. It's seafood that you know, we're gonna upcharge you. You know who the suckers but they buy it? White people, dog. <laughs> yeah. Well, they buy into that shit, man. Not me. Food should not be more than fifteen dollars, bro. Uh unless you got like a, a, a real dope like um like uh beef and like a good ribeye in it. Some when you know, some some uh fun yeah. places do that, you know. Uh I think that's cool. That does definitely add flavor to it and um, depending on the quality of the beef too, you know, I, I think, I think a, I think a real good pho bowl, right? A large, good amount of everything in it. Twenty five bucks is the most I'll ever fucking pay for for a pho. Top tier, top tier pho. Top, top tier, dude. Not no fancy bullshit. Twenty five dollars. Like, not man. like adding some caviar and, and some, you know, some bullshit that's not supposed to be it. Just traditional. Good ass pho with some dope ass ingredients, twenty five V max. But but you can get. What good do you pho. usually add in your pho for your your Nothing, um, condiments? Nothing, just just uh, huh? some mint, some Thai basil, uh, some chives, and uh, that's really it. Some maybe you don't some do hoisin sauce. Nope, I don't. I don't ruin it with that. No, if the broth is good, no, no don't sriracha. Need don't need it. No don't sriracha. It. Don't eat it, man. Just a good broth, dude. So just that's it, huh? Yeah, interesting. Yeah. The broth has got to be good, though. Shit. Yeah. I gotta get my my chili oil, bro. I get a little bit of chili oil, hoisin. Yeah, that's it hits the spot. Sometimes for me, sometimes fish sauce. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. fish sauce, black pepper. Yeah. <sighs> man, food is good, man, dude. Dude, I've been eating you so goddamn hungry, much bro. this past this past two weeks, man. I just be eating. You've been eating good for the past two weeks? Not even eating good, just eating, dude. <laughs> what you just, uh, what you be eating? Just eggs and, and noodles and shit like that. <laughs> yeah. It's just like I'm working on uh learning the the um drop ship stuff and I'm just like, man, I don't know. You know, for me to try to avoid doing it, I'm I'm like, I'm gonna go eat, you know. <laughs> I just Yeah, it's always a little break. Yeah. ADHD, man, that's what it is, man. I just I just uh just can't stay in one spot too long, man. Yeah. Yeah, bro. That's that's kind of my escape too. Is just eat food and then while I'm eating food, watch watch another video while I'm eating oh, food. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible. Shit, I might get some fun after this. To be honest, dog, you making me crave some fun right now. Cool. Cool, man. You know, you know, I've, I've kind of uh, fell fell out of love of uh, sushi. Like, it doesn't excite me like it used to. Oh, man. You got to get some good sushi, dude. I I just, I just, it just doesn't, it just doesn't excite me anymore. Maybe, maybe some like, some, you know, exotic bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. But, but even that, it's, it's not like, it's not like, you know, something that I, I just really want. It's just something that I want to experience and try. Like food just doesn't quite excite me like it used to. What's the um, best sushi that you've ate? Uh, or are they all the same? Uh, you know, when when I go to like these uh, higher end uh, sushi places where they do have something that isn't like the generic stuff that you get in most sushi restaurants, I, I do those. That's about it. But in terms of like best, it's it's like, you know, as long as they get their order in within the same week, you know, then... That's that's you know that's good sushi. Um, that's about it. Yeah, I um, I never really liked this sushi. I mean, it was cool, but um, <laughs> I I experienced really good sushi when I worked at this um, high end sushi spot. Oh, shit. Like it changed my whole perspective on sushi. I going back to like regular sushi. But it changed the game for me, man. I can't, I can't, I don't crave for regular sushi. I crave for high end sushi. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it's totally ah, a different so experience, dude, when, um, when people really care about the ingredients and put so much thought and, yeah. um, uh, time in, in creating the menu, you know, creating an entree. Yeah. I, I like places. There was, like uh, one, one of the sushis that they had, they had like gold flakes on it. I'm like, God damn, oh. is that necessary? Yeah. That's cute. Yeah, that was that was that was kind of cool, um, but yeah, great sushi, man. I, I love sushi. Sushi, 
I love good, great sushi. Yeah. Not, artistic. Um, you like that artistic sushi? Yeah, with the um, expensive eggs, fish eggs. I forgot what they're called. Cav- caviar. Caviar. Oh. Fancy. Tight, 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 tight. With uh, sparkling water. <laughs> <laughs> dude i i'd be lately i've been like when, when we go you know i ask for sparkling water they don't have i know they don't have it but i ask for it anyways yeah sparkling water on the rocks <laughs> yes sir oh man that's funny man you gotta get only two ice cubes nothing more yeah get that carbonate you gotta get it fancy with it man oh man cool man so so where do you see yourself in uh Five years, dude. Five years is a long time, man. Uh, honestly, um, there's also there's there's a hard reality and there's also um, a possibility, right? Yeah. Um, the hard reality is that I, if I keep on doing what I'm doing right now, or damn, I don't want to be too harsh on myself. Fuck. Um. Five years from now, I I do see myself um, having a little bit more free time, hopefully a house, um, and more uh, more financially free. Uh, still healthy, um, hopefully doing more yoga, and um, yeah, just being more active. And it's not that I haven't been active; it's just that I want to make it more of a routine a better routine i want to say where, where are you gonna buy a house um, um i have thought about it i was thinking either san diego or even la but i don't think the market is gonna crash anytime soon but dude houses here are expensive and if i got if i want a house here i gotta make a lot of money man Especially like getting, I want to get a car garage too. You know, it doesn't have to be in LA. Oscar LA is fine, but I definitely want a garage for sure and a nice car. Cool man. How much? JD in front of the garage. (laughs) Just saying. (laughs) Red, red red is fine. Black is fine. White championship white. I never fell in love with white man. I never fell in love with the white cars. I never owned one. Never like liked it um i've always been to like red black championship white though Ch- championship if I had, white if i had a choice if i if, if i wouldn't if i had a choice between the three colors the yellow white or the red i would definitely go with the red yellow and then white okay i'm gonna pretend you didn't say that <laughs> But, um, bro, man, the red dude, the red is freaking eye catching, bro. I love the red. All right, blood. Yellow's pretty fire too. All right, blood. I see you, blood. <laughs> I think I think I ITR only comes in four colors, right? Yeah, black, black, yellow, red, and white. Yeah. Love it, man. Uh, uh man, that, that, what about you, man? That uh, that threw How me off. That question threw me off. Uh, <laughs> Uh, five years, man, you know, I, I, I've been debating on whether I, if I want to stay here or not, um, you know, I, I mean, the reason why I'm still in an apartment is to stay nimble, you know, um, because this isn't, cause I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, like in terms of, you know, because I'm focused on legacy and I want to bring in my siblings, but but I don't want to force them into doing what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Which is pool our money together and, and start doing stuff together financially. Right. Um, you know, it's on, a lot to carry. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot to carry a lot to lead. Yeah. If you, if you decide to do that, it has to be, I guess, more concrete, you know, yeah. it's not like even really that, concrete. But, but willing to just work together and, and figure shit out, you know? Um, but, but that's the thing, right? When you say that, siblings, you mean like you have, you have two sisters, two sisters. Yeah, uh, I don't think I've met the other one. Emily? No, I met Emily, but you have one more. Right? Oh, oh, the older one. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think you've met the older. Yeah, one. yeah. But uh, so yeah, so so on my side, two sisters. On my wife's side, you know, 
a uh, few brothers, a few sisters. Um, but you know, and, and, and it's, you know, you know, honestly, I haven't had this conversation conversation yet with them too, to, you know, really do stuff together. I have my older sister, but she kind of doesn't trust, <laughs> doesn't trust me, doesn't trust herself either to really, you know, do something big with our money, you know, but so, so that's what why, are you, what are you thinking? What? Oh, I was thinking about going back down South. I think uh, my uncle might, might be in alignment with, with uh, that purpose of legacy and family. So, so you, you want to go down South yeah. to get a house together or a land? I'm, I'm assuming to plant my flag, dude, you know? To say, like, because, because honestly, okay. like, uh, it didn't have to be a house. It could be a duplex, or it can be I can go into another apartment, or or whatever, you know. But, but just to pool our money and, and start, you know, doing something together. Like what? I I don't know yet. I, I haven't thought. This this is kind of a new thought. Okay. So, but you want to do like a business? I'm yeah. assuming. Yeah. Some some kind of business, real estate. Uh... Whatever business, right? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Yeah. So, so where where am I in five years? Don't quite know yet, man. I just know that. Over two years. In two years, I'd like to, uh, with make it rain, take this off, right? And then also the drop shipping. You know, I mean that's why I did the drop shipping because it, it kind of works hand in hand. You know. Um. I'd like to be able to uh, afford my wife just staying home. I think that'd be real good too, um, or at least help with drop shipping full time and and stuff like that. A lot of back office stuff. Um, that's about it. In two years, if you're talking about two years, you know, that's yeah. about as far I can, I, as I can project in two years. Would you? Do you think you would down payment in a house in two years, or I can, I can you still be living I can there? That shit now, dude. But, but, but in two years, I, I'll for sure still be here. Um, so, so you still be okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I think um. Two years is it is a long time. Ooh, dude. Long but short. It's short, dude. Dude, long this, is, long this year short. is already halfway. Do you can't believe that? Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. My mind is still on 2021, dude. I mean, that shit went by so quick, dude. Um, yeah, man. Staying consistent to um to the core to yourself. Yeah. What about what about uh, 20 years from now? I can't predict myself, man, that long. Man, that's wild. Man. 20 years, shit. Uh, well, you'll be, what? We'll be 40. We'll be 50, dude. 45? We'll be 50, dude. Oh, shit, huh? Oh, man. No freak. So, this is, I don't know what, what's going to happen in 20 years. But hopefully by then, I want to for sure still be able to, um, like, run a marathon. You know? Oh, damn. Like, okay. You know, Oh, you're going to be one of those old guys saying, hey, young kids, you guys can still work out. Stop being fat fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be that, gonna be that uh, guy. The, the wannabe uh, David Goggins, bro. David Goggins, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I want to be that kind of you're shit. You're carrying like you know a 50-pound bag. You know, fuck your pains. Fuck your, fuck your luxury. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yes, sir. That's it. That's it. I won't, because I I'd rather I rather be that person than that person's like being like at, at the couch just like fat as fuck you know like I rather cho choose that life than than that because that's oh what's going on uh oh Discord what you doing Discord. It's all right. Technical difficulties happen all the time. <laughs> oh, great. Just great. What up, dude? Yeah, man, I've, I've been um, not able to walk and able to move correctly, man. Especially like when I know that I'm not going to have kids yet, you know? 
So when I'm like 50, my kids are just probably turning like teenagers. So I still have to be physically active, active with them and like, you know, throw some footballs around and whatnot. So I'd rather be that dad than... Hey, you, can, can, you can throw a virtual football, dude. You get those uh, Apple goggles, just like... <laughs> hey, that could be the future too, dude. That that really, really could be the future too. Yeah, yeah it's already kind of sort of happening already. So, VR, I mean, it's the phones. VR, cuz. Our crypto would be finally worth something, dude. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, shit, uh-huh. man. If I think about it now... Shiba might be worth something. <laughs> They might finish their shit. Couple more years, dude. Couple more years. Uh, I'm not. I'm not unlocking that vault yet. I'm leaving that vault there. That's hilarious. Cool, man. It's gonna be an interesting, uh, interesting few decades, man. You know, I. I'm working on. You know, like. This is a great question. Like, I'm. I'm just kind of taken i because i haven't even asked myself that you know what do i i've just kind of been in the mode of working and taking one day at a time you know um because right because of you know because right now i'm just kind of being reactive i understand that legacy you know uh and, and what that means for me is money monetary um becoming a better person right to be able to handle you know whatever financial um, gain I'm going to, you know, try to obtain. So I need to grow as a person, right? Um, family wise, I want to, you know, instill family values into my kids and, and then, uh, we grow as a family, you know? Um, so, you know, and all of that is still kind of very vague in my opinion, if I'm being honest, you know, and, and what I'm doing today is, you know, our podcast, mm-hmm. And drop ship and I go to work and I come back and you know it's, it's just I, I guess what I'm saying what I'm trying to express is is like like these you know these steps that I'm taking I hope it takes me to where I want to get to um, because I look I, I'll share something with you that I, I haven't shared with anybody um, Oh, it's on Facebook. Let me see if I can pull it up. Okay, I, 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 I can't. <laughs> coming out of the closet. But you got it. You got it, finally coming out of the closet. <laughs> Something uh, was telling me, man. Thanks, thanks for breaking the ice. Uh, but uh, so I, I kind of remember it. But it's a Facebook post that I wrote. Um, you know, just uh, I think about a week ago. Uh, and then in that Facebook post, I said. It's, it's pretty much a post. I was going to make it public, but, but I wrote it to myself instead. But in this Facebook post, it says, you know, not verbatim, but but the idea is that, like, I look back 10 years ago, who I was 10, year, 10 years ago and, and who I am today. You know, I'm happy with where I'm at today, but at the same time, disappointed, you know, because I know what I know now can take me so far. But if I knew what I knew now, back then, I wouldn't have wasted so much time. And, and got to where I'm at today. And um, for my grandpa's birthday, you know, I gave him two grand. He was very happy. My grandma was very happy. Um, but, you know, it, it's, it, to me, like, I was, I was happy, but at the same time I was ashamed because, you know, how much more could I give back to my grandparents if 10 years ago I got my shit together, you know what I'm saying? And so, so there's that, you know, and then I, I, I said that, you know, I, I make more than I did now and I have more in the bank now, but, you know, how much more could I have done and, and how much more, you know, how much more I'm, I'm missing out, you know, if, if I would have gotten my shit together, you know, then instead of now, you know, so I wrote that, man. And, um, you know, and then, and then that last piece of that post was, you know, the next 10 years, right. It was kind of like a commitment, kind of like a, um, a, you know, a saying for myself to commit to is that for the next 10 years, you know, I'm going to commit to, um, to next in my life, you know, to, to see an exponential growth. Um, you know, I, I think a big part of that is just, 
uh, thinking about my dad, you know, and like like how much I missed out on being a better son just because I was still, you know, fucking around and doing stupid shit. And, you know, and, and the relationship, you know, my, my, my grandparents are getting real old and I'm about to, you know, lose them. You know, how much of that time that I spent, you know, wasted, you know, could have been spent with them and, and the, the energy and the finances could have been spent with loved ones. And so now, you know, my commitment to myself is for the next 10 years, it's just, you know, work and make shit happen for, for my family. I like the message, man. I think it. I think it's it's great to uh, to look back and 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 reflect on it, but you know, it really did have to take you ten years to uh, yeah. to realize your passion. You know, you know. Obviously, you know, the Peter back then wouldn't be able to handle what you have now. You know, so the Peter back then, even if he was did have your knowledge, he wasn't. He wasn't able to handle you know what you are now like the emotion the mental uh the physical even the re even the re responsibilities that you have like the people back then just wasn't ready you know yeah. and that's completely okay you know what i mean like right now you're giving back to your family already me too grand that's like a lot dude like you may not seem like it's a lot and of course you want to give them the world but then they do like that's a huge step that's way more what peter back then could have done you know what i mean like i think it's just only going to get better it's only going to be, be better and um that's part of the passion to to grow and to be better to give more later down the road you know yeah. um and appreciating it you know and also appreciating the past you that created the you now and uh, some people honestly they don't even realize and they're still the 10 years you know before they were still the same person you know and um i'm glad you know it took you 10 years to, to do this so it takes a lifetime and um yeah man i think you're in great position to um to grow and to be in you know grab a passion and and, and strive for it you know especially like with family you know you talking about building your legacy and um um even giving back dude that's that's a huge huge step whole different peter from back then and from now you know cool, man. party man appreciate the words dude facts dude um facts um i mean the positive, the mindset has definitely been different. Emotional uh, discipline has been different. Um, the mental state is different. Um, stronger, better you, you know, handling more important things. Yeah. You know. Cool. Thanks, dude. Well, yeah, man. One step at a time. We'll come back ten years from now and watch this video. I'm like, oh, where, where, where we at now, man? Yeah. And hopefully, um, hopefully better positions for sure. Yeah. We are going to be in better positions, man. Um, so, I'm glad we're talking about it now. Yeah, dude. Cool, man. Um, the, the other day I was, uh, I was talking to a friend and, um, she, she was talking about, like, she just wants to get motivated so much. Like, I, I want to be motivated so much and i realized that damn dude people really just wait to be motivated and that's how you lose you lose because you wait for motivation and motivation is so temporary and at the end of the day dude like discipline is gonna be the key to your real success man and um it's crazy how uh People just wait for motivation, dude. Like, it, it took me a long time. It, I, I had to hear from somebody else to be like, whoa, shit. Like, you actually wait for that shit? I'm like, damn. That kind of sucks. Like, because if, if it comes to me, that's, like, more energy that adds on, you know, with my day. But I don't I don't wait for that shit, though. I mean, I feel like, I don't know, man. It's, it, it's, um, it took me a while to actually, like, really feel it and move different. 
you know, and hearing it from somebody else makes me realize, oh shit, I am moving different. Like the move, the Frankie now is moving different from the Frankie before. Cause I feel like before, yeah, I did, I did use to wait for motivation. I had to feel good to do something. You know what I mean? If I didn't feel good, I would just like neglect it, throw it away. Like now next day, tomorrow, whatever it may be calling sick. Uh, but Frankie now is like, dude, I can't afford being sick. Even even if I am sick, I'm still gonna go for it. And damn, dude, like hearing it from the other side was was um, was an eye opener. Oh yeah, dude. The uh, the law of attraction, man. You know, like if you do nothing and you literally just wait for the world to hand you, you know, a prize, and you know you're gonna do nothing with your life. But if you're actively seeking, you run into something eventually. You know. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, the good days are are really good. The good days are really good. The bad days are still good days, but the good days are are, are the really, really, really fun, great yeah. days. You know. Um, so appreciating the bad and good days is is gonna is the key. I feel like that's the different to me. Um, before, man, like I use, I I was just like smoke some weed and i'm good <laughs> yeah, yeah. smoke some weed a bad day smoke a pot and i'm good and I, truth be told man i was just hiding from my emotions dude i was just kind of like putting them on the side you know like oh, i'll deal with this later you know i'll do the, i'll do i'll deal with the next week i'll deal with it later and like at the end of the day dude like fuck man it never went away it still came back so uh, I had to learn the hard way, but it, it took a lot though. It took a lot. It took a lot of uh, like bad situations, a lot of heartbreaks, a lot of trauma to actually be in this position. Um, so I'm, I'm still, I still got a long way to go, but um, I'm glad I'm here now, and what I know now. Cool, dude. Yeah. Um, do you want to check chat? Are you, Man, are, nobody's, you, are you uh are huh? you checking uh the one on your your personal page? Yeah, that chat, one? Chat's iron off. Um okay. hold on. Too, too long strong says love that right, right. We're going to be in a better position. Hey, shout out to Too Long, man. Shout out to you, bro. Sorry. Yeah, man. Um you know when when we talk about legacy, man, um, you know, I do want to put a legacy on the on the monk culture as well i think that's a huge step you know i think last week i was talking to you about like you know what has Hmong people done right like filipino did jollibee and um you know china did you know pan express whatever it may be <laughs> yeah, yeah. um what was Hmong people do right what does Hmong people do um so i kind of want to you know put a stamp on it you know i want to help out uh whatever it may be um like sabadee fest that was something cool that a lot of people did and more people, you know, did collab with it, but it's mainly more for the Lao community, you know. But I want to do something more uh, for the Hmong community. So I think that's, yeah, it's always going to be, a, uh, you know, uh, a side hustle or something that I'm always thinking about as, as we're doing these podcasts and, yeah. and growing and, try you know, try to get the community back together. Because I feel like we have lost the community, man. And it's because of content the content moved different now so we've lost um the community so like getting the community back together is um it's a whole different it's going back to block one and it's pretty exciting because it's um a different you know version of us going yeah. in yeah you know like a mature version of us going in and what we know back then and what we want to accomplish so um i love what we're doing and um, it's going to be exciting, dude. Back to block one, but um, it's going to be good. Dude, the difference now, though, right? The difference now between then two, I mean, it's just not our maturity and, and in our experience and, and what we know now. But, you know, we're reaching different audience now, too, you know. Um, and then we're having to uh, reach a, a new, new, a new Hmong audience, too, right? The, the, because we have the millennials, right, that grew with us. But now we have that. Gen X or the Gen, Gen Z's, Z's. Gen yeah. Z's, right? Yeah. We also have to kind of, you know, um, uh, dabble reach, in and reach. get their yeah. attention. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't um, want to yeah, I, 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 I didn't yeah. want to say touch because that sounded sounded suspicious. Mm -hmm. 
Right. So I chose Reach, which is slightly worse. And and and, <laughs> but, and we got money now. Yeah, and we got we were older yeah, now. Yeah. So we got we got money to play. We got so yeah, we, got uh, money now. we got we got the big toys. <laughs> we got responsibilities. Uh, uh, so I'm glad I'm glad we're doing this, man. Uh, and technology made it possible, man. So we're doing this virtually, and it made it possible. Oh and yeah, dude. You gonna... Imagine, like, like we're like thousand, like a thousand or two thousand miles apart, and we're, you know, doing this as if we're next to each other. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, love it, man. Love it. I think I think it really um, hit me. When, uh, I think it really hit me when uh, that one time where you were uh, you were filming, and I was just kind of watching you. <laughs> I was like, yeah. wow, this is wild, dude. You know, it's like, it's like I'm there, you know, just, just saying, Hey, you should yeah. do this. You should do this. That was good. And then you're asking me stuff. And then I was like, yeah, let's go with it. And and then uh, yeah. the editing too. Right. Oh my God. Like, like I remember back then I didn't do no editing. I was like, yes, Frankie does that. Right. <laughs> but then now I'm doing the, the, um, the editing. Yeah. It's and, different. And then, yeah. Oh yeah. Dude. It's crazy. Dude. The dynamic has changed. Yeah, I did. Um, I didn't think back then, like, I felt like we just never cared. You know, it was just, like, simple. I mean, it, feel, it should be simple now, too. Dude, because um, all we were doing was, like, 10-second stuff, dude. It was At first, it was, like, 10-second yeah. stuff. And then, um, I think uh, Vine died. And then we did slightly longer stuff now, like, a few minutes. And then, oh, yeah, man. And then, uh, yeah, just throw, throw off IG filter on. And then the color grading is done. And, yeah. Easy, make it easy. Yeah. Cool man. Oh, yeah man. Um, it's been it's been a good um month, and the month is ending. This month is ending, and yeah, dude, it's already it's already halfway through summer, man. That's crazy. Damn. Dude, the summer's hot. already ending. It's hot as hell over barely, here. Barely, barely started. Is it getting hot over there? Eighty degrees today. That's hot. That's perfect. That's hot. That's great. That's feeling. Feeling good. That's ridiculously hot. Does it get? It, it doesn't. It's not humid over there, huh? It's a little humid, but mm. nothing like Tulsa. So, uh, any uh, any uh, suggestions? Any help on my rids on my my next girl? I think. Uh, so so that video we had today, right? Like 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 start implementing that. Yeah, the pussy, the pussy one. <laughs> I was a pussy. You didn't give me a pussy. That one? That one. <laughs> oh, shit, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, avoid that one. <laughs> Are you trying to get a girl in the hot. States? Are you trying to get a girl in the States? Avoid that one. <laughs> that, that shit might work overseas, but not here, dude. Uh, no, I think, I think, dude, I think, um, Setting boundaries, maybe, you know, like um, being okay. I think I think putting yourself first, and then setting boundaries, um, and then uh, I think um, your standards. I think I think expressing your standards. I think that'll be. I think that might right. change the game for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give it a try, man. I don't know. Uh, in, in in terms of riz, I don't know. Can't help you, riz. I don't, I don't have riz, man. So I'm gonna let you know how it goes on my first date. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dope, um, man. that's dope. It might be with the girl. It might be with the dude. Who knows? Hey, man. Whatever, whatever it is, man. Hey, I don't, I don't discriminate, man. It might be they, might be a he, they. She, he, be, he, <laughs> whatever they identify with. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, man. Uh, I look forward to, uh, whatever happens, man. You know, that day is going to be, uh, interesting the day that you decide to tie the knot. I think that's going to be, uh, yeah, it's not going to happen. Are, are you, did you guys already officially did your wedding already? You know? Yeah. No? Yeah. Uh, well, the moment you did, man, I'll tell you. We officially did the moment the, wedding, or you know the wedding, yeah, right. But it wasn't my wedding. I'll be honest with you, it wasn't my wedding. It was yeah. it wasn't our wedding. Oh, dude, I got wasted, man. But 
It's not. It wasn't my wedding. Let's just let's just say that. It was just a discussion. It wasn't planned by us. It wasn't funded by us. It wasn't. I mean, we didn't make the guest list. We didn't uh, book the place. We didn't do nothing. We just showed up. So it wasn't. It was a wedding for us. Most weddings are usually just like an agreement session, right? Like two sides of family. I tell you, I tell you this. I tell you this. How I feel about it, right? Is that my kids? They're gonna do their own shit. I'm not gonna participate financially. I'll be there. I say a few words, but if you want to do what you want to do, tight, do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I will support you a hundred percent, but I'm not going to plan it and do it for you. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to engage it in that way. That's, that's how I feel about it. Wait, so who planned the wedding then officially? Oh, uh, my, my father-in-law. Your father-in-law did? Yeah. Oh, they did it traditionally. Okay. Okay. So yeah, he, uh, usually the, uh, the uh, the girls, the bride's family usually we try to push for it because it's like, um, you know, more appropriate, I guess, more respectful, I guess, setting up the, sending the daughter off correctly. Yeah, I get it. Are you are you planning to do do a make a wedding soon or anytime? Uh, me and Pakus. Well, a wedding? No. Yeah. We're gonna no live. We're gonna live the rest of our life together and be happy. That's what we're gonna do, man. Okay. Yeah, I think weddings are um, pointless, man. Um, it's a scam. Yeah, but people pay thousands of dollars for a fucking wedding. Yeah. Dude, the markup, the markup on wedding shit, dude, is fucking crazy, dude. Yeah. yeah. If they know you're doing a wedding too, the yep. venues are gonna go. Oh yeah. Oh, it was five hundred, but it's actually fifty thousand. But for you, yeah, it's fifty thousand. Yeah. A wedding? Oh, make it a hundred k. God, dude. How would you? How How would you do yours? Uh, I'm just gonna buy one uh, plane tickets to Hawaii, and then we uh, gonna have a good time. Yeah, destination. Yeah, man. destination Thank wedding. You. It doesn't have to be, yeah, it's just going to be uh, really intimate, man. It's not going to be probably like 30 people max. Yeah. Um, and just it be really intimate going on like a whole, you know, trip, skydiving, yeah. whatever it may be. Yeah. And um, yeah, and maybe have like a smaller ceremony for her because I think she's going to want that and uh, have, have a moment to go back and look at, you know, at this time. And um, yeah, and make sure it's, if you hire if you hire a photog- photographer, make sure they ain't got some weak ass equipment. <laughs> I told oh, you, man. I told I you about that one time. Talk, I told you about that one yeah. time, right? <laughs> yeah, the guy with the stock lens, <laughs> three hundred dollar yeah, camera. Sure. <laughs> oh shit, dog! That was that was tight. The uh, the uh, the pay was more than the camera. <laughs> Oh man, dog, uh, that was wild, dude. Yeah. Yeah, videographers and photographers they make it they make bank, man. My uh, my main photographer, he makes uh at least one fifty an hour and that's like a, at least a day, whole day shift, eight hour shift at least. Damn dude. That's tight. Yeah. Yeah, they make pretty good money. Cool man. Um but Yeah man. Uh well today's episode's pretty good. Uh, I think it was kinda chill. Um, a lot of bonding, a lot of heart to heart. Yeah, yeah, good. true. A lot of just uh, good, deep, deep conversations. Yeah, that was good, man. I needed. Oh look, man, I always look forward to these Thursdays, dude. This is my days off, and um, you know, I get to uh, you know have a therapy session with everyone, and let let everyone know what what we're up to, and talking about positive things and and everything. So. Thank okay. you for everyone that joined. Yeah, thanks for everybody's watching. And um, any any last words yeah. from uh, from chat? Uh, no. Good. Chat's been kind of quiet lately. Yeah. Well, you know, Facebook's not pushing out our stuff, so you know. Well, TikTok, man. Yeah, that's why we're gonna trade up and and move to TikTok. Mark Zuckerberg. We're on TikTok, do, dog. You know, you need to stop focusing on your jujitsu, Mark. And you know, fix this, you know, shit. 
All right, dude. We're going to. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, You know, today's episode was fun. Um, Not as much videos, but man, good heart to heart. I expressed a few things that was on my mind, Um, and so did Frankie. That being said, tune in every Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, link in bio, link in description for our YouTube channel for the full version of our past episodes. Any last words, Frankie? Yeah, follow us on TikTok. Uh, we're growing pretty fast on TikTok. Follow us on TikTok. Um, our audience is growing from TikTok, and we're probably just going to mainly um, start streaming maybe down the road just on TikTok and Facebook, but we're going to focus and more on TikTok Twitch. and Twitch. And um... yeah. Probably YouTube. Twitch is where we want to go for sure. Um, but it's, it's just that our audience is growing so fast and TikTok. Uh, we want to focus on on our audience and, and grow correctly. And yeah, it's not that, you know, we're still going to, you know, stream on um, Facebook for sure. But uh, it's going to be uh, limited. So uh, if you guys want to see everything and small clips through our, our whole podcast, we have clips on our highlights uh, for free to join and follow us on TikTok. That's where all the funny clips are at. So join us. All right. Other than that, have a great day. Peace. Happy Thursday.